Greetings, everybody. This video is about um, those two victims, uh, one Danish and one uh, Norwegian, who have been recently mur been murdered in Morocco. In the country, I am partially from and was born in, grew up in. A lot of you maybe might uh, might be thinking, how how can the murderers and someone who speaks like this or who is like this be from the same country, living in the same country? That just goes to show you how uh, divided we are in this country. There's such a huge class gap. Very like poor illiterate people and then there's all types of other people so uh, first of all I would like to uh, present my deepest uh, condolences and feelings to families of the victims. You don't have to know someone in order to feel their pain. And, uh, I can just imagine how how devastating it could really be or it is for the family of those two girls. Such a thing should have never happened. Especially not in a place like Morocco. Such things never happened before. It's completely unheard of. We've never heard of anything like this going on before. So, uh, they say that apparently the murderers pledge allegiance to ISIS and have a picture with the ISIS flag behind them and whatnot. I don't know much about it. I mean, that's all I know. And, uh, yeah, just takes some stupid people, some foolish heads, empty. See what I'm saying? Like, like someone just came up to me, and I, uh, but before they approached, I told them, "Excuse me, I'm, I'm recording the video," and they still came and gave me their hand. Like, you know, stretch out their hand for me to shake their hand. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm making a video. <laughs> and they do this with good intentions. Like they, they just, they just ignorant. There's so much ignorance in this part of the world. Just so much, and they're not even aware of it. Like that's, see, the biggest ignorance is not to be ignorant. We're all ignorant in, on different levels. But the worst thing is to be ignorant of your ignorance. I mean, you're ignorant, you're not even aware that you're ignorant. You're just, oh, what? No, nothing happened. What? I didn't do what? What's the matter? What's wrong? You know what I mean? That kind of ignorance. We have a lot of it over here. At least in other countries and other places, when you criticize someone, they would, they would pause to try to understand what, if, what they did. If they did something over here from the from the get-go they assume that they, they didn't do anything that you're just talking nonsense like, what are you talking about i didn't do anything you know stop stop criticizing me i don't like it blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so uh you know uh, it's it's very ugly what happened I, I heard there's 
video of that somewhere, which of course I don't expose myself to, because I don't need to. For me, it's enough to know what happened. I don't need to see it actually and hear it, you know what I mean? And again, a lot of people, especially in this part of the world, anything that they could see, anything that their eyes can behold, and it's available, they would, you know, they would go and see it. They have no discretion. Dis discretion? Discretion. Discretion. They don't have any discretion. They just, they just open to anything, and everything, and whatever. Just taking everything in, good and bad, uh, harmful and not harmful. Whatever. They just. And it affects them and, uh, you know, numbs them and does all kinds of things to them, so... People here have no discretion whatsoever. Uh, I'm not saying every person or, mm, like, like, in general, but a lot of people do. A lot of people. Like I said, it's very divided here. So... jailed, taken, stopped, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what sentence they got. I'm really not aware of that, but I would like to know. Uh, it's just, just really fucked up. It's really fucked up. Yeah. Can't even concentrate here, man. Boy, just passing by. It's, uh, I really feel for, for the families, I really do, especially in this time of year. part of the world, not in Morocco, but you know, in other Muslim or Arab countries, people die every day, but that's not a reason to not feel someone else's pain, so uh, I'm really sorry on behalf of whoever did this, even though I have nothing <laughs> to do with those people at all, you know, but on behalf of those, just as a, a person from the same country or living in the same land, I just want to offer you my deepest apologies. Some might say I don't have to apologize, but I just, I just feel the need. Not that I did something wrong personally, but on, on some level, there's a concern. There's a sense of, you know, relatedness. things. I mean, you know, this is the result of uh, poor education, you know, 
Um, Sensible, educated in a, for uh, towards sensibility, towards humanity. It's ironic because the the victims were of Scandinavian countries, and we all know how Scandinavian educational system is. It's uh, constructive, beneficial. It's not destructive like the, the educational system we have uh, in France and the United States and of course Morocco just does whatever France and the United States does. Bow down to them every time. So what type of education Fran France has and the United States have, Morocco will try to duplicate that. Like it's not even at that bad, it's, it's worse, you know. It's a shame. It's a shame how we've been reduced to not even consumers, but not even, you know, just worse than consumers. We don't even know how to take something and duplicate it. Not even the right way, just we make it worse. <coughs> so this is the result of things like this happening in Morocco. Leaders of Morocco have to firm up and do something about it if they're, if they're serious about it. If they're not serious about it, they won't do anything about it. But if you guys are serious about it, like you say you are, then do something about it. Let us get together and do something about it. Let's change our educational system. Let's change the media. Let's have more uh, freedom of speech and hear different opinions without the fear or the threat of that coming back at us, you know. But anyways, all this stuff is... Uh, Apparently more complicated than they would want people to know. And I'm not even trying to get into the complicated side, or I'm just uh, someone like you and me, just like you guys, just looking at life. And simplifying everything, because life is simple. Life happens, the, you know, the life that we are is very simple, e even though it has so many complex things keeping it going, but it's simple. You're hungry, you know you have to eat. You're tired, you know you have to sleep or rest. You know, it's just like that. You're, you're thirsty, you know you need water. You're cold, you know you need the sun warmth it's so when you see something wrong fundamentally wrong just two or I mean two girls just just murdered like that just for no reason just just for being foreign I, I suppose I don't know or not Muslim I mean there's a lot of Moroccans who are not Muslim but just because they're Moroccan everybody assumes that they're Muslim this religion identification has to stop in countries like Morocco. They have to stop. And any type of belief system should not be encouraged. Should not be encouraged. Any, even Islam, every, every belief system. It should not be banned or made illegal, but not encouraged. Because there's no need to encourage it. Everybody can take the religion that they want, believe what they want to believe. Everybody can say that they believe one thing and then believe another. 
So it doesn't really change anything. So it's better to leave people free. And uh, fight any extremism. Especially the type of extremism that that orders you or makes you think that you know killing people and chopping off their heads is okay. I mean, what kind of war do we live in today? What, what the fuck is this? This is this is uh, it's beyond crazy. I mean, how can people just sit down and accept these things? If Moroccans heard, you know, heard what happened. They would just go by their daily life. They would feel a little bit bad. Like, oh, it's gonna hurt our economy. Oh, Morocco's uh, income from the tourism, whatever. Well, good, good for you. No more tourism in Morocco. Let us make our own money. Let us let us bring ourselves up. Let us do something. Stop depending on these outside things. We have everything we need here. But people should be more concerned about the human life and life in general, just life. Living beings living elements, water, earth, sun, you know, oxygen, or wind, air, you know. Try caring about those things a little bit more than the economy and your job and your, you know, whatever. Try caring about those things a little bit more. Because I'm sure that if the if, if those victims were your daughters or your sons, you would react to it totally differently. But because they're not related to you, they're not even from your country. Oh, that's too bad. Oh my God, that's terrible. Okay, but, but let them be your daughters or your sons. The next day you're going to be trying to rally people. Like, cause a revolution or something change the system change how things are going in this place see how see how uh, hypocritical we are as people when we think it does not concern us we are so easily disassociated from it But as soon as we know it's touching our little circle that we built, that we built, then we do everything in our power and more to change things. That is the power we need to use for everything in the world. We're already related, man. We're living on the same planet. Why do you want it to be, why do you want to be more related to someone than for this we live on the same goddamn planet we share the same sun the same moon the same everything oxygen the same earth I mean what more of a reason do you need to feel concerned about what's going on in the world and about uh, and, 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 and with other people Life is not divided. If you believe in God, God is not divided. If you believe in the higher force, the high, that higher force is not divided. It does not divide things, but you do. You do because you're functioning, functioning from a very limited place where you make everything limited. You are limited to this part of the world. You are limited to this culture. You are limited to this way of thinking. You are limited to this, 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 this. And then, of course, and when everybody does that, everybody is divided. But if we can just see the nature of everything, 
and we are not divided. We really, we really are not divided. Just wake up and see it. Experience it. And let us get up and do something about it. About everything that's wrong. In our little circles, and the big circle, and in this whole big circle we call the Earth, our planet. Let's do something about what's going on.